All right, Mimo, workout six, Mimo Mania. So this is like our next level. For those of you that have done like the Body Freedom Boot Camp, this is, we're here next level, halfway through. Um, what do you need today? You need your band and you're also gonna need the mini ball. So the squishy ball and we'll get that toward the end. As usual, we're gonna warm up. We're gonna do some cardio. We're going to do our peak cardio moment where we get breathless. Oh, the band just kind of took a tumble. And strength, stretch, whole nine yards. Now, if you are here with us live on the launch crew, we are on our second week. We took two days off. So hopefully you're fresh and you're ready to go and we're gonna get started. So let's go with the warm up. We got a lot of options for you friends today. A lot of options in our choreography. Let me flip this just a little bit so I can see what's happening here. All right. Get the volume up. There we go. That's not where Max we're gonna be today. Are you recording? Ooh, good call, good call. Look at you. That's why I keep you guys around. Keep me on it. Big shoulder roll. Beautiful. One more time. Ah, feels so good. Big breath in, raise it up. And exhale, flat back down. Roll it up. Beautiful step touch. Nice and simple little step touch. We're actually going to use the warm up today to learn some of our movements that we're going to do. So you've done the step touch before. So how might that look in a chair? Step touch. Any arms, friends. Any arms. Step touch. Now march, doesn't matter which side, just march. March wide. Take it back in for four, three, two, and out. Four, three, two, in, and out. Hold in. Now out, out, in, in. So wide, narrow, wide, narrow. We've done this before. This should not be a surprise. March. Beautiful. Back to that step touch. Again, a hand curl. No surprises. This time, biceps curl with hand curls. Change it to a side raise arm. Today is all about the shoulders and the core, so warming up. Stop halfway, now push. Push, push. Kind of getting our body used to moving together. Remember the chair, it's a tap back. Still engaging that hamstring. And march. Beautiful. Plant the feet, hands to shoulders. Lateral bend, lateral bend. You can reach an opposition if you want. Four. Three, two, now rotation. We reach back, back. You can reach in opposition if you want. We need both hands reaching out. Four, three, two, now four lateral bends. Four, three, two, two of each, two rotation, one, and two, two lateral bends. One, two, rotate again. And bend. And march, we are warm. Shoulders should be feeling warm. Our shoulder joint takes a little while to warm up. So I wanna get really involved at the beginning. So that when we use that joint in our strength at the end, we're ready. Now watch what happens, it's called a V step. Now some of you are like, old hat, oh, V-step, got it, got it, got it. If you don't know what I mean by a V, imagine there's a V on the ground. Watch what happens. Up, back. I make a V. Up and back. And you can even make a lovely V with the arms. My favorite, I just miss a little step right here. This is a classic step move, friends. Now I'm gonna give you an option. Three Vs on the ground and one hop. Two. Three, now 
on this one, I hop forward and back. Three, two, one, I hop, forward, three Bs. In the chair, two, one, hop out, and in. Again, last time, two, one, hop, step touch. That's it. Make it a double. One, two. In the chair, you're probably gonna say single set touch. Now watch, grapevine, grapevine. This is standing only. Now you can stay with that double set touch if you want. Or grapevine. Three V's, one hop. V, V, one hop. Grapevine for four, or set touch. Three, two, one. Now watch, one great vine, we're gonna turn and march. Great vine, turn and march. Three great vines, one, two, one turn and march. These are all options. So you notice like the options are crazy advanced. Just some fun choreography. Three Bs, one hop. Three, I'm showing you the chair. Great vine for three. Now this chair, we step touch. One turn and march. Cool, did you see in the chair? We stick with that step touch. Beautiful. Out, out, in, in. Now when we've done this before, remember we went out and hopped in? Let's try hopping out if you want. If you want, we can hop out. So it's still out, out, in, in. The options in the opposite direction. Three Bs, one hop. Three, two. You can stay with B or hop. Great vine. For four or three great vines in turn, your option to turn right here, out, out, in, in. Two more. Ham curls. Beautiful. What about the chair on the out, out, in, in? Out, out, in, in. Option to go out. Right? Beautiful. Ham curls. We're gonna make it a double right here. One, two, one, two. That's it. Back to singles. And march from the top. Three Bs, one hop. Or four Bs. One more. Great vine. Or step touch. Your option to turn is here. Out, out, in, in. Cam curls. Two more, now a double. Mark on the other leg. Ah, it's a whole thing, guys. It's choreography, we're back. We're back. Now I want you to this time start with the ham curl. So I want to show you something interesting. Ham curl. Now you can stay with ham curl. If you're wanting the next level, stick it. So it's like a little stick, but we pull the heel up. Ham curl, your choice. Now two, double. And march on this side. We've got three Bs, one hop. Let's go. Three, two, or four Bs. Your option. Stay with it. Do it again. V step. Option to hop. Grapevine. Grapevine. Stay with just the plain grapevine. Let me show you your options. Instead, if that foot behind is tripping you up, 
Just make it a double step touch. In the chair, it's a single step touch. Use the arms to increase the heart rate. Three grapevines. Option to turn. March out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Option to hop out. Three, two, V. You can do four. Your option to add a hop. Three great binds. You can do a fourth or turn. Out, out, in, in. Option to hop it. Ski or hamstring. So we can stick it or stay with a regular or hand curl. You decide. That's it. Two curls and march. Oh, we got back to that original side. Beautiful. Ham curls. Now two, three B, one hop, or B step, your choice. V. Grapevine or step touch. Option to turn. Out, out, in, in. Ham curl. There's six total. Six. Five. Now two. V step. That's it. Come up in the chair. Great line or step touch. Option to turn. Out, out, in, in. Six hand curls. Bump, bump. Tattoo. V. V, that's it. Watch the hop. Great vine. Option to turn. Out, out, in, in. Two more. Ham curl for six. Two. And march. Whew. Fun, right? Lots of options. Get ready to get some peak get ready cardio here. These steps. Then you can hop as many as you want. Lead with this side. Let's go. Think about getting the arms up to drive that heart rate. Hop if you want. So that's it. Chair, same thing. And breathe, beautiful. Same with this side. Grapevine or step touch. You decide. Go. Great vine. Lots of options. Or double step touch. You have a little plyo in the middle. That's it. Boom, boom, boom. Take a break. All right. Still leading. Out, out, and in. You can add a hop. Or speed. Watch. We can go out, out, in, in. We can run it. Even down here in the chair. Running it. Working with that speed. And that agility. That coordination. And hold. Beautiful. Ham curls. Ham curls. Yes. Yes. Let's go. You'll notice the tempo is higher. What can you do to bump up that heart rate? Push. Arms overhead. Or maybe we want to add an impact. Stick it. Stick. You've got options. 
Anything you want to do. Rest. Same cycle. This side. Okay? Starting with the V step. Option to hop. Let's go. V. I like doing the three and one hop. Even at this tempo. Boom, boom. Something happens. Got a little off beat here, but I'm loving that hop. Woo! All right. Step touch. Great vine. Whatever you're so hard rate up. I'm coming with you. In the chair. So you're thinking, okay, Gretchen, I want to do more. I've been step touching this. Push the arms. Getting the arms up, if that's an option, is always going to help you. It's always going to boost that heart rate. That's it. March. Two more left in this peak cardio. Out, out, in, in. Option to jump on the out. Let's go. Out, out, in, in. Now, you can add that speed or the hop. Even seated. Out, in, in. One challenge, and hop, and hop. Out, in. Beautiful, take a rest. Last push, ham curls. Sticks, seated, doesn't matter. Let's go, ham curls. Get them up, get them up. In the chair, bring those legs back. Can you reach forward? That's it. Take a rest. Woo. Grab water. Grab water. Now we eventually will be all the way on the floor. So if you want a mat, keep it handy. Come on right here. You're actually going to need a ball handy. And a band handy. Grab water if you need it. Oh, that tastes good. We're starting with our band. All right, team. We're going to be looping it underneath one foot standing. So that can be full on standing or it can be seated. Now what you'll notice about seated is you kind of got to get the other leg out of the way a little bit. So you might be in this kind of sideways seated mode. You also might have to grab up on the band since what you have going on is a little less distance. So feel free. In fact, I use this little area under my band with handles as an anchor point. Some people tie knots in their band. That works too. Working the backs of the shoulders to start. One foot on, one foot back. It can be down or up. Rear delt fly. We pull. We pull. Palms facing the back. We keep our head in line. Something that happens sometimes is just like chin jet. Keep your head in line. Make the work happen between your shoulders. For more shoulder, we lean a little further forward. That's it. Let's do four more here. Four. Three. We're going to change the tempo. We're not going to stop the exercise. Three pulses. Let's go. Three, two, one. Slowly lower. Three, two, one. Lower, slow. Good. Working that eccentric contraction, elongating the muscle. You've got four more. Pulsing for three. Whew. Final two, friends. Last one. Beautiful. All right, one arm on. I let this slide under my foot, put it back down. When I've got a little bit more band, tension is on. So we don't want it floppy. Find the tension point. Little so front raise. Front and down. Good. It's slow. 
Again, we keep some tension onto the bottom so we don't have that quick stop on the shoulder. That's not super healthy. Lift, lower, beautiful. Chest is proud, head is back. Belly's a little zipped. If you wanna find that tiny bit of engagement, start warming up the core. You've got four more, my friends. Four, three, now. <laughs> Last two. Final one. Beautiful. Shake it out. Shake it out. Ooh, we're going under the other leg. No change. No change. Get set. I'm going to come with my seated folks here so you can see what's going on. Nothing different. I just give myself a little more room to bend over here. Rear delt fly. Pull. Pull. Feels no different than standing. Now, if the leg situation isn't working well for you, another thing you can do is both feet on for the rear delt fly. It works just fine. It does. So if you feel like you're sitting funky, go there. Now, I want you to really, if you're in the chair, can you lean forward a little more? Actually, everyone could lean forward a little more. And I'll tell you what, there's something about this in a chair, not just for anyone who's you know, incapable of standing or not wanting to stand, but it does allow you to focus a little more on the shoulder. Three pulses, two, three. So I want you to maybe try it out. I like it. I like the double foot on. You know, I write down all these options and as I do them, I'm like, huh, I like this one better. Keep going three. So chair options are not just for the cardio. They're for everybody who's working to find what works best for them. Final two, let's pulse for three, two, one, and three, two, one. You're rocking it out. All right, single leg. Now, if you're in the chair, it doesn't matter, you can still be under both feet. Give yourself some room. Front raise. Now this one I like standing better, and I'm gonna make a little modification to seated. I'm gonna pull this foot back a little bit so I anchor it further back. Yeah, that feels better. Instead of anchoring it right in front, gives me more of that front raise feeling versus almost I was feeling more like a little side raise there for a second. Lift. It's slow. And just when we think we don't want to do any more, we're going to do four more. Let's go. Final four. Count them down. Four. Three. Hard to keep tension on this band. Two. Seated. That is a challenge. Last one. Beautiful. Shake it out. Band can say bye-bye. No more band. You need a ball. And if you're going to the floor, you're going to need a mat. Right here. We curl and lower. 
Zip the belly as you come up. What about the chair? Legs are down. We're going to curl forward and up. Yeah. You got it. Wherever your up place is, I want you to stay. Reach the arms long. Zip the belly and lift the shoulder blades off if you can. Pulse the arms. Beautiful. Try to breathe in, two, and out, two. Now you can do this with your head down. You can do the feet down. Zip the belly, arms pump. Pilates 100. For four, three. We're inhaling, two inhale, and out. Last one, and out, beautiful. Lower down, take the arms overhead. Beautiful release. From here, come up. Now, I want you to hold behind your legs. Now, the option this time is gonna be head up or down, but we're all going legs. Legs and arms shoot out, squeeze it in. You might wanna shoot the legs straight up if that feels better. You decide. You might wanna shoot them out. If that feels better, maybe more challenging, you can also lift the head, reach out, and up, and pull double leg stretch. Four. Three. In the chair, we're just lifting the knees. Two. And one. Beautiful. Relax. Now, in the chair, we're about to do a rotation of the legs on the ground in the chair. It's an upper body rotation. On the ground, it is a lower body rotation. So knees to one side, but don't quite touch the ground. Center, other side, don't quite touch the ground. Yes, lift the belly, press the shoulder blades on. Let's really try not to let the shoulder blades lift off the ground. Little knee drop side to side. Center. Let's take the ball out. Starting our stretches here. Let the legs come all the way down to one side. Reach and look away. Full body rotation. In the chair, just like where we were. Let's get something a little more relaxing. We're going to hold the rotation to one side. Beautiful. From here, if you're on the ground, let the knees come up and drop over to the other side. Same thing, once they're over, hold them down, reach away. So you'll see this seated position, right? This stretch is pretty much what you're doing. Imagine you had a bird's eye view of what was happening on the ground. Similar, you're probably more, so yeah, you know more like this, right? So a little bird's eye view of what's happening on the ground, what's happening in the chair. Now, if you're on the ground, let yourself roll to the side, up to seated. You can stay seated. I'm gonna stand up just for viewing sake. One arm comes across, holding above or below the elbow. Stretching the shoulders. Shake it out, other side. Beautiful. So what I hope for you today is that as you come into week two, if you're here with me live, second half if you're watching this recorded, you start to understand that getting out of your comfort zone is going to be okay. It's gonna be okay. From here, we're gonna stand up together if you're still down, or you can sit in a chair, that's fine too. Hands to back pockets, squeeze the shoulders back, gaze slightly up, zip the belly, stretching the front of the body in front of the shoulders. So great things typically happen outside of our comfort zone. Check yourself. The times that you've gotten uncomfortable, the times that maybe you did the things that felt hard, were the times when you had the biggest change. Shake it out, shake it out. So today what I hope for you 
is that as we enter into the second half, you really take on the idea that you're gonna be stepping out of your comfort zone, right? For workout plus, I'll see you back for workout seven.